Evening, everybody. It's 6.30 on this Thursday evening ahead of a close the market tomorrow. And I just was waiting a little while to find out if the futures were going to be trading tonight. And evidently they are not. Um, I haven't seen any openings, so I'm just making that assumption. Okay, if you bothered to listen to my uh, closing comments or this morning's opening comment, I have specifically been pushing the fact that the oil has now consolidated above this important breakout. And had that happened, you would have seen the opportunity either yesterday or today, anytime, to see this breakout to the upside. Um, I'm going to guess that uh, 85 to 86 is pretty much in the bag here. And um, I think we work higher. Um, I'm hearing all these uh, talking heads talking about $90. <clears throat> you know how I feel about the teleprompter readers, but nonetheless, um, you know, that's pretty much what I'm seeing. Um, in the rest of these markets, we had the gold up strongly today. Uh, we had the silver reverse back to the upside also. Uh, Bitcoin higher. The markets, eh. Okay. Um, I just want to point out that uh, tomorrow CNBC will not be on, but all of those uh, important numbers come out tomorrow. We have, um, you know, we have the uh, PCE and uh, personal income, personal spending, um, amongst the many numbers, uh, but they will be reporting. As of today's numbers, we saw nothing special in uh, the weekly claims or the continuing claims. These are not low numbers, so the you know the economy seems to not be slowing much. We also had uh, the third estimate of Q4 GDP came in at 3.4. Consensus was 3.2, as was the prior month's numbers. Um, <clears throat> after that, the Chicago PMI came out, and that was a huge miss. 41.4. Um, Consensus was about 45 and a half, and the prior number was 44. We also had the final um, March University of uh, Michigan Consumer Sentiment, which was 79.4. That was a big beat. Um, consensus was 76.5, and the prior was 76.5. So uh, market sentiment is improving, and the lessening inflation worries and rising stock prices, of course, added to that. February pending home sales, these are signed contracts not closed yet, uh, up 1.6%. Expectation for that one was 2.1. Uh, prior was revised to 4.7 to the downside versus 4.9 that was reported. <clears throat> okay, got a couple of things to say. Um, Palantir downgraded today. Um, you know, this stock was $45. Uh, the high today was uh, $25.48. Um, and the low was $22.94. Last is $23.05. That's down $1.46 or 6%. Uh, Reddit, all of a sudden, there are sellers coming out of the woodwork. Um, and a bunch of them are employees whose stock is now free to trade. Uh, we went from uh, uh, 55.30 to 48.10. Last is 48.17. That's down 9.58 or 17%. Um, a little one. AVTX, that's Avalo um, Therapeutics. They did a stock deal to take over a company called Almada. Um, so they bought the company and what they got into from that company 
is uh, two trials that are generating a great deal of positive data. Um, the stock was four and three quarters yesterday. Um, it hit thirty four forty six. That's down sixteen. Uh, pardon me. And the low was sixteen sixty five. Uh, the last on that one is. Um, 2090 up 1615 or just a scant 338 percent okay um two things both really on the same subject i keep hearing everybody talking about not everybody you know but a lot of teleprompter readers talking about gm and how gm sells for three times earnings well you know Historically, you don't buy GM when it's trading for six times or uh, three times earnings. You buy it when it's selling for 23 or 33 times earnings because it's a cyclical company. It has not approved, has, has not been shown to be agile at all, regardless of what Kramer and Mary Barra told you. And generally, three times earnings just mean we're at peak earnings. And that is not the time to be buying GM. In a related thought, now that we're waiting to see if um, any of the American makers are going to follow Toyota, now that it seems that hybrids are the way that people are going, and that makes a lot of sense. There's no, um, you know, there's no distance problems with it. You can run it on gas. You can run it on electric. And so the anxiety of running these cars kind of disappears. What doesn't disappear, and this is a question that I am not hearing spoken about or asked at all. What are we going to do with the batteries that are dead when they go? Yes, I know. You can get a new battery for your car, so your car isn't obsolete. What are they going to do with all of the batteries for disposal? I don't hear anybody saying a word about it as a problem. I don't hear anybody saying a word about it as with an answer. So I leave you with that thought. Um, hope everyone has a nice long weekend and a Merry Easter. And I'll be back on Monday. Have a good one, folks.